today's a special day. We're gonna go pick up our order of bees. That's right, and bring them home. But first, I gotta go pick up Junior. All right, so here we are. I got Zegan. Oh, he's still eating. <laughs> and here's the thing. We had bees once before. We had a hive. But uh, they didn't last the winter. So this was a couple seasons ago, a couple, couple years ago. So I think that we tried to winterize the beehive a little bit too late in the season and the hive was already suffering. So here we are, springtime, April 13th. And uh, we just, the beehive shop just got delivery of all the bees. So we are going to start off here early this spring. Uh, round two, and hopefully this time we can keep the dang beehive alive. But uh, it's pretty exciting. It's pretty fun to go get the bees. Zegan, do you like beehives? Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So next up, bee pickup. And then we'll get it home, and the real fun begins of trying to install the entire beehive box into the hive. It's pretty fun. Is that open? No, that place has been closed for as many years as I can remember. So here we are, Ogden, Utah, Deseret Beehive Supply Store, right there. Deseret. That's where you get all your sweet bee supplies. So what's with the white boxes? Um, they are just what was available to yeah. the beekeeper. So that kind of a new thing. Cool. So what are the types again? We got Italians, right? Right. I have Italians or Carniolans. And so are like ones less aggressive or something? And uh, we got a gallon jug of syrup to feed them with, and. There they are, ready to go. So the queen, mama, is in here. So we got our work cut out for us when we get back to the house. All right, so we've got the beehive relocated and basically prepared. Uh, we're about to do the fun and exciting part, dumping all the bees inside the hive. So this is not a brand new hive, but it's been pretty well cleaned out. A little bit of leftover wax in here from the last bunch of bees but uh, yeah like I said we relocated it to this new area in the yard and hopefully they will be happier here and hopefully this time if we do the winterization a little bit earlier they will actually survive the winter here these little bad boys are The whole lot of them. Dang, it looks like a ton died. Man, it looks like more died than when we picked them up, but I don't know. There should be plenty. That's crazy, huh? That is weird, yes. Cap, kitty, kitty, kitty. What's up, bud? What's up, bud? Wow, all right. Mama's just about suited up and ready to get this handled. All right, so we got the smoker going here. They've pretty much been calmed down with the smoke. I just slide it over, pull the can out, and let her rip.
And so these are these Italian bees to where I'm just standing this close to them and they're not even, you know, they're not even bothering they're me. They're very nice. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm not the one handling them, they don't, you don't, I don't have to suit up. Okay, pry that out and then I'll slide the thing in. You got the marshmallow because she's ready to come out. She's fine. She's going to get right through that. So she said that they've been together for two or three days already. So let me see it. She's in there. I'll hey, check Mama. out the bee. Hey, Queen Bee. I want to look at her. I hold her so I can get it up close to it. What does she have on her legs? Nothing, she's fine. There's that queen bee. What's up, little lady? Alright, in you go. You got lots to do. Okay, pretty guys. Okay. So don't move it too much. Just move it a little. Oh, one little, little guy jumped on. You know what? What's up, little buddy? Hey, hey, how's it going? Can you get this guy off of me? Yeah. All right. All right, so last thing we're going to do here for today is give them their food. So this deal is a Be Smart feeder. And you've got to fill it all the way full with the, it accepts one gallon of food, which is basically just this syrup stuff. And uh, make sure you fill it all the way. Don't fill it halfway or else the negative pressure vacuum won't permit it to seal. Because when we put this on there, it's gonna ooze out of this hole a lot until that vacuum builds up and then it'll stop and seal it. But it won't do that unless you uh, fill it totally full with the whole gallon. That's all there is to that. <laughs> if you watch though, it's <laughs> it's oozing pretty good under those guys, but uh, like I said. So I removed the uh, little block here. For now, we'll put that back in later. But this way, hopefully, they can all find their way in and out easier. And that's it. That's that. That's a wrap.